All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, we are going to be taking a look um, really at what's going to be then the crux of the rest of our unit here uh, for uh, unit seven. Um, and that is going to be some uh, nation states. And then we'll also toss in a little bit of geography as well. So log in with Pear Deck. Um, and then uh, right here, one thing you enjoy doing during your spring break, uh, as I tried to, I think I tried to do a little more question about this last class, but uh, only pictures, no words allowed on this drawing though. So uh, with that, uh, we are gonna look at uh, some geography that we have to do for this unit. And then we're gonna look at uh, really what's then gonna be the base understanding for what's gonna happen in our nation state unit. And that is identifying the difference between a nation, a state, and a nation state. Uh, so, uh, our mapping for this unit is going to be Southeast Asia and Oceania. Uh, again, same thing as before, you have a slides puzzle that you can do, uh, and take a screenshot of either one when you do it, or, uh, the memorize option, which is, uh, right there. Um, for the puzzle, again, take a screenshot of the third puzzle in that set, and then turn it in in Schoology, or uh, if you're going to do Memorize, you need to show that 12 of the 21 words are in your long-term memory. Uh, but with that, we're going to go ahead and get right into uh, the nation, state, and nation, state, and being able to tell the difference. Okay, so grab the note outline there, we're going to look at basically what makes a nation, and then what are the similarities between that and a state. So, uh, when we talk about how we think about ourselves in relation to other people, that's really what this question is kind of getting to and like, how do we organize ourselves? And so first let's talk about uh, what is a nation? So a nation is, uh, you know, we, we tend to throw around these words like nation and state and country very interchangeably, but they're actually very, very different. Um, so a nation, first of all, is just a, group of people who roughly share the same culture. The best way that I've heard a nation explained by some political scientists is that it's an imagined community. And not to say that these aren't like in your imagination, they are very, very real, but it's something that like you can picture yourself right now that you're a bigger part of something than just, than that's just you, right? So if these, if, if nations are people who share a similar culture that means things like customs traditions religions language historical experiences they're not necessarily things that you can touch or measure right um they're, they're less tangible if that kind of makes sense uh so what i'd like you to do okay is if you know that definition of a nation then write another example of a nation that you might know okay so go ahead and do that here on pear deck um and then let's talk about what a state is so a state also refers to a group of people, but there's a couple other criteria that makes something a state. If you're trying to find like, find like okay, so like, what's a shorthand thing? Wait, state is an interchangeable word with country. Uh, a state has two things that make it very distinctive compared to a nation. Number one, it has a definitive space and territory that is recognized by other states. And then two, that state has sovereignty over itself. What is sovereignty? That means that it is in charge of its own destiny. So for example, like Indiana is not a state, which is a weird thing to say. Like Indiana is still subject to the US government, right? Um, other examples of states might be Brazil, China, Portugal, right? Uh, you know, countries that are well-established uh, and recognized as definitive areas. So using Pear Deck, uh, I'm and now having gone through that, drag your flag to which one is not a state. So you can see here, I just gave this example. Um, we have Germany, Morocco, Australia, and then Indiana. Indiana is not a state. I know that sounds crazy, but it's not, um, at least according to political scientists. So uh, what is a nation state then? Well, a nation state combines the two things. And this is where we have a large group of people who roughly have the same culture and they occupy a definitive area, right? So the United States, Japan, Germany might be another example, um, but there are exceptions to this. And sometimes, uh, well, let's get to those. Can you be a state with many nations? Yes, you can. Okay, the United Kingdom, which is a state, has four nations in it. England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland. 
Uh, and then you could ar even argue different nations within that. But let's keep going on. Uh, can you have a nation and no state? Yes. Uh, for example, if you are Jewish or you identify um, either you know as religiously Jewish or ethnically Jewish, uh, you might share a common culture that extends beyond the borders of just Israel, right? Um, and there's other examples of nations out there, uh, such as like Kurdistan, like the Kurds, uh, who live in parts of Iraq and Syria, um, that they are a nation, but they do not have their own state. Uh, so go ahead, finish the exit ticket, drag this icon to a face that matches how well you feel you understand the difference between a nation and a state, and then we get to put it to the test. So I made a version of Naked and Afraid, but we're calling it Nation and a State. Uh, so what you're going to do here is uh, play this game right here and prove that you know the difference between a nation and a state. So uh, hopefully you can figure out you'll make the right choices. And if you can get it to where your PSR, your political savviness score or rating uh, will increase as you uh, make the right choices. So I'm going to go ahead and fix score there. It should be rating. There we go. Uh, so click that right there to play. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. You'll, you'll enjoy it. Um, and then... Okay, uh, what we're gonna do for our last activity is a bit more of an imaginative one. And that is we're gonna look at uh, what if we redrew the United States to match the different nations that are inside of it. Okay, so uh, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna reimagine what the nations inside the US could look like, especially in the future, like as we think as like time goes on, right? Um, so, for example, like we tend to use the words, um, you know, like Midwest, West Coast or Eastern Seaboard or things like that. And then what nations right, we're really going to explore here, what nations in the U.S. will you make or do you think will happen in the future? And so you are going to turn your copy of this into Schoology when you get done. But I'm going to go ahead and show you it here and how to do it. Uh, what you are going to do and the instructions are up here on the top. Okay, it says, create new nations inside the US. To draw the nations, simply click a paint splotch on the palette to the right. So you'll click right here, okay? And then you'll go over here. You can see I've got this tool up here and it says polyline. And I click there and I can draw a new nation inside the United States, just like that. And voila, okay? So I've given you an option, as you can see here, uh, we've got we've got a we've got a key. You can add up to I think I've got seven uh, nations here inside the United States. Now, how do you decide what to draw? Well, I uh, you need to think about if I look at the United States, what things do groups of people have in common? It could be a common culture, it could be institutions, it could be religions, historical experiences, it could be their similar economies or a sense of community. So for example, you might look at, um, if I click here on my paint splotch for orange and I click my polyline tool and you're like, oh, you know what? The South, uh, South Carolina, Tennessee, Arkansas, Louisiana, um, these all have a really similar cultural feeling to them. And I'm going to give this one, a, a, this is going to be the, the South, right? Or you could call it something if you wanted to. Um, and that's going to be your new nation of the United States. Uh, and, and you're going to go ahead and draw then uh, these regions. And once you have drawn them, Okay, and I'll talk about how you do the drawing here in a second. There's a couple questions down below here, and I'll go ahead and read these now. It says, justify the creation of your particular nations. What do your created regions have in common? And then this question, do you think the future of nations in the U.S., not just yours, is centrifugal, more spitting apart, or centripetal, more coming together? So it's kind of thinking about, like, what's the future of the U.S.? Do you see more Americans coming together more or splitting apart more? Um, now, how you use the polyline tool. So when you go up here and you're clicking and drawing, um, the thing with the polyline tool is as I'm clicking to make a shape, I need to return to my original point and that will make the shape. Um, however, don't forget, you need to click over here on the color wheel to grab a color before you click the polyline tool. Like you need to have a color selected because that will create the transparency for you, just like that, okay? Uh, so I look forward to seeing your imaginative drawings here, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, in the next lesson. Bye-bye.